This is a quick video to show you how to use this table to change your attributes in The Witcher 2. So here's the table. We'll enable the script. Which all it does is finds a static pointer that I use to find everything else. So we have the attributes, which if you look at the static pointer, here's where I found it. And uh, offset 0 points to this base structure. Offset 158 points to another structure. And offset 50, which this 158 structure is the uh, attributes base, which points to the attributes array. So if we look at the attributes base structure, I have that up here. Here's the pointer at 50 offset to the attributes array. Next is a count of the number of attributes. I believe the next is the max count before the structure has to be increased in memory. And then the size of each element in the structure. Or is the size of the structure, because it's an array of structures. If uh, these values might be different for you, this sh should be able to find it in the code where it's actually accessed, even if you have a different version of the game. You might need to tweak these some by using the left and right arrows till you find something that looks like it points to the right address. I think somebody had 240 in the thread. So that'll get you to the uh, array of attribute structures in memory. If we take a look at that, copy the address, we have Control M. open the memory viewer and we go to tools to set data structures that will open up one of these windows okay, but let's go to file new window because I don't want to close that one yet and we'll paste our address into there go structure to find new structure just do the defaults okay now we see that we have repeating values every one for hex or 20 bytes is an ID. Sometimes it doesn't always interpret it correctly and these are at hex so let's change those to decimal format. Right click Yes, we see these IDs like 1032, 1033, 1111 12. Okay, this second element of each structure is the base value. I don't know, this is usually one, and then we have an uh, adjustment value. This adjustment value, if you change it, it'll get reset by the game whenever it's changed. Like if you put on a piece of armor, like right here is your health. That's 100 zero. Let's change our armor. This jacket gives us plus five vitality. Let's put that on. Now we can see that the bonus for that is five and I have 105 total health, 100 base and five bonus from items and what have you. So if we change this health directly, we'll see it on our character attributes. We have 505 vitality. So, some of the cool things you can change are 250, that's your max carry weight. Go back to our inventory. You can see it's at 250. Let's change that to 5000. You have to leave and come back to see the change, but it's changed in the game. So that's how you can look at this, and there's tons of different values here. Haven't found them all yet. So then I wrote a script to let you change them more easily.
This in red is a warning. If this value doesn't look like a valid pointer, do not use the cheat, because you could crash your game or corrupt your save file. This will show you the attribute count. Don't change that. It's just to make sure you're pointed the right thing. And then here's a readme for attribute IDs. Double click on the script, and these are the ones that I found so far. Now enter one of these attribute IDs. Let's change our vitality regen. We look at the game. We can see that it's as two and zero during combat. So let's use this ID. Set the value. Now enable the script, it will find the address in memory. And that's 2, so let's change that to 100. If we go back to the game, get out, come back in. See so your vitality is now 100. If you want to change another value, do not change this ID. You need to disable the script, enter a new ID, like for carry weight, or let's do the minimum damage. And then re-enable the script, and you'll be able to change it. This 8 bonus is just for the weapon I'm wielding. Let's change the base to 50. Now we'll have to change the max damage to enter the new ID, enable the script, change the max to 16. Back in game, see your damage is way up.